comfortable with playing on Lila to begin with. Because Snake kind of gets screwed over by the tilting platform. But you can only theory craft so much. We're going back into game number three back in Battlefield. I'm not sure what safe options on shield Ness has when Snake is holding a grenade. I mean, it's just pretty much going to be down because spam for the most of his, like, entry, right? Whereas Snake is going to be doing Snake things, carry, and he's going to set up as much stage control with his grenades as possible. Uh, his back turned towards the ledge, he's gonna have to uh, reverse edge guard. Not reverse edge guard, he's gonna have to get back on stage by attacking, is what I meant to say. Because when your back is turned to snake, you can't grab the ledge. It's a weird thing about snake, but somehow it works out for him. Forward throw, gonna go for a Nikita missile kill here. Tries to bait it out with. Oh my god, he did it! The down B sets it up. He baits Ness into doing a down B to pretend he was going to heal. He aims the Nikita missile high and then it forces the Ness to have to air dodge back on stage instead of having to up B. Because he thought he wasn't going to have enough space for his up B. It was very good. It was a very good bait with the Nikita missile. And don't know what happened there. But did not look... Back here. Um, Ness can build up a lot of percent and he can heal up these grenades, so he's not really out of it at all, like if you think about it. He can heal up to like as much as 60% in a single stock if he's like careful about it. He can dish out as much percent as he needs to with these side bees that are pretty safe. Oh no, lag. See, it's like it never happened. PK Thunder. He's chasing him out of the sky. Needs some frequent flyer miles to stay here. Dishing out more damage with that side. Back in. Gonna set him off for an edge guard. No PK Thunder this time. Nice down smash. Tricks him there. We're about as even as it gets. We're even Stevens right now. When you factor in the heal is what I mean. <laughs> it looks like it's 68 to 14 percent, but actually it's like 40 percent to 50 percent if he gets like two heals, which he should be doing. No, he just needs a grenade. Never mind. I'm just typing him up. I'm sorry. One stock apiece. Final stock. He's standing on that C4 like it's nothing. Scary stuff. Heals. Got the life advantage now. Up smash. Not gonna kill on this stage. Could have killed on any other stage, maybe. Gary really trying to go for that C4 kill. Relying on how big that radius is. Gonna go for some up tilt. Snare? Nope. Not gonna happen. Up smash. Gonna secure that one actually. Maybe he wanted to go a little bit higher. If I was the snake, but I'm not the snake. I am the commentator. Who got beat by the snake, so... What do I know? But landing on the top platform is... Usually a good strategy. Gets you out of a lot of neutral. Or gets you a lot of out of a lot of pressure. That's why you see a lot of people doing up the from center stage out of shield. I predict call me Nostradamus, because I think we're going back here for game four. Back to Battlefield. Ready? Yep. So, two to one 
in favor of PYK. Battlefield's the name of the game. Three, two, one, and he has that last game too. What kind of stages would Snake like in this matchup? Smash them? You avoid uh, PK Thunder pretty well on that stage with how large the top platform is. Another good stage would be Cow, maybe, with how large it is. You don't die to Puppy as much, but you lose your up tilt kill potential, maybe, at like the earliest kill percent, but that's not really much an issue for Snake. Snake can rack up for Snake too, as much as he wants. This input there, coming in from the Smash, he wanted side B, Snake B. Charge, down, Smash. That might have been a read, considering how much this, the uh, PYK has been spamming that down B. Oh, he planted a C4 and I didn't even see it. Wow, good stuff. And it is looking pretty good for this stock investment for Gary. Uh oh. Oh. Good thing he hit that shield and that's gonna kill. land clean stonks on the stage. It's just stonks on the left platform. Invest in the future is just finding an apple tree. Down smash. Down there I mean. Not gonna connect but uh, up smash well. Getting some percent here. Jab jab jab. Down smash. It's below the ledge but not gonna connect. A scramble right now, seeing who can get the first attack. Care connects. Edge guard. Nope, not gonna happen. Could have been a forward air. And he's gonna finish that off with forward tilt. Not even gonna let him get the chance to react. This is still doable, it's not grim at all. 155 to 0% when he heals. Should he heal? Should he heal is what I should be saying. Yes. I'm great at this. Down smash, here's that. Hits in the back first, always good. coming in. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Fourth, double dash attack, up smash. That's a lot of coverage, but not gonna connect. Side B, gonna build up a little bit of percent, not too much. 12%'s not gonna get you anything but low hit percent combo. C4 explodes. No C4 on the board right now. Pretty sure he's gonna lay one here. Nope. Could have laid one down if he had read that he wasn't gonna roll, but back there and get that kill. And now we are 2 2 for each Gary and PYK. Am I Super Nostradamus? Are we going back to Battlefield Electric Boogaloo for the fifth time? Or is PYK going to pick one of his pocket best stages for Ness? It's a question we have to think about right now. Maybe he goes Palutena, but no, I don't think so. Battlefield 5 Electric Boogaloo, yeah! They should make a sequel to Battlefield. That'd be cool. Oh wait. They did. <laughs> uh, 
big battlefield. You big fat son of a bitch. <laughs> wants to go pallet here. I mean, the Ness has been working out. He just needs a, like, maybe a smaller stage so that his, like, back throw can kill at, like, mid-stage, but that's a question he has to think about right now. If he wants to risk getting up-tilted at a low percent, if he thinks he can land, like, PK fire and read his air dodge out of it with his STI, but it's always a gamble, you know, these things. Smashville works for both of them, but it's a high ceiling enough to the, avoid, like, getting killed by up tilt by Snake. Yeah, for sure, Yoshi is like, you don't want to leave that low ceiling in for Ness at all. Or that, these, the blast zones are just too small. Kalos would be like, the understandable final pick for these two because that stage just works out well for both of them. Kind of prevent the snake from even considering going anywhere past the stage because he can't really. There's nowhere for him to land if he tries to go high. He just has to eat percent on the floor, you know? So that would be my guess. Kalos would be a really good pick for Ness, but it's all skepticalism. Let's see what these players are doing right now. Yeah, they're just gonna go back to fucking Battlefield and make me look like an idiot. Yep! <laughs> uh, I love it. <laughs> Alright, so, welcome to the New York Classic, Battlefield only. And it looks like Ness is going to be sitting in the temple right at this moment. PK fires, very good. Down smash connects, but it's not going to actually hit with the hard spot with the actual hit. It hits with the sour spot of that move. Over to get off me. That shield looking pretty small right now, gotta say. Grenade, don't know if that was a play. Getting back that center stage down air. Oh, Whips it. Up smash, gonna confirm. Under the platform, not much you can do when a Ness is under a platform on Torch, but looking good for PYK. Oh, that was a fast fall. It's gonna need some percent for that. But it's okay. Beats his own C4. I don't think that was his own C4. That might have been a grenade, actually. It's too low of a percent damage taken for it to be C4. Let's take 7% or something. And right now, I am pretty sure PYK has found crack in the code. See, like, those PK fires, you could just SDI up and away from them every single time. Just wiggle your stick fast. And lag happen. Kinda cringe. Back throw, not gonna connect. I'm killing is what I mean. But... Another one of those will surely actually secure it. This is why we jab when we're at high percents with a grab to a kill confirmed. You just jab because they can't mash out fast enough past two jabs anyway. You can grab at like past 150, but okay, back here secures that. Very. Up 
smash nice percent not gonna, phone, not gonna connect with the next confirm of down throwing to down from the snake, but it's okay because he's got enough pressure going on. Down smash connects, he's gonna land at an awkward angle. Right now, snake can win this with about 140%. Past 150, I don't know if he lives a back throw. Or up tilt actually gonna kill there. So send it. So he went from 70% to 100% in two seconds up smash, gonna give him an extra 20% there. And extra 10% from his grenade, another grenade, and the side beat gives him an extra 20%. All he needs is a back throw to secure this. Down smash, gonna send him off, edge guard, no PK thunder, but it's okay, he's aware of how much pressure he has. Any single hit kind of leads to a kill confirm. And that is going to be the back air on the ledge of the platform. Last stunk for each of the players, not a bad loss. Game went to